the baseball, I got to tell you, looking at that stadium of the old Birmingham Barons yesterday. Rick, Rick Rickwood Field. State. Yeah, was not great. Oh, my God. It was so good. But with all the folks that you had mentioned who had played for the Birmingham Barons, I noticed you didn't mention maybe the greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan. He pl- oh, he did play there. 1992, remember? Very good. David Stern was going to suspend him for the year for gambling. Remember, it was the, the Eastern Conference playoffs against the Knicks the night before he was in Atlantic City until the break of dawn. Gambling, gambling, gambling. He was late for practice, and he uh, gambled a bunch, too, on the golf course. And you're right, this idea that Michael Jordan decided after winning three straight championships, I want to play baseball. No. By the way, he couldn't play at all. Couldn't no. hit. He was horrendous. Like 200. Yeah. You had but, guys but, like, you know, Deion Sanders was a good baseball player. Bo Jackson, all-star baseball player. Even Danny Ainge. Michael Jordan was terrible. Think back. Think back. 1963. I'm watching the Thanksgiving uh, NFL game. There was only one game. Green Bay Packers would always visit Detroit. And the announcer had to explain why Paul Horning and Alex Karras were not playing because they had been suspended for, for the gambling, whole year by Pete Rizal for yep. gambling. Yep. It ended up in a 13-13 tie. Yes, that's true. Well, Jordan, uh, exactly. He left the game because of the gambling issue. And then, of course, his father, God rest his soul, yes. ends up getting murdered oh, in his car horrific. in North Carolina. And there's a lot of people who think that, and I don't know this, could be a conspiracy theory, but people do think that his father's murder in his car on the side of the road in Wilmington, North Carolina, or Lumberton, somewhere like that, was because of Jordan's issues. And by the way, speaking of Jordan, his gambling buddy in almost everything in life, Charles Barkley, announced that he will be leaving the world of broadcasting, and nobody cared, if you notice. Nobody cared. Sid, you didn't mention it. Nobody mentioned it. Nobody cares. And then we know why... Stephen A. Smith got down on wounded knee because ESPN is now offering him a massive deal and a huge push to keep him at the network. So he had to kiss Barack Obama's black tuchus yes. in order to secure himself a contract that he can <laughs> say, I'm the number one guy at ESPN. Shame on you, Stephen A. Smith. That is pathetic. Shame yes. on you.